quite a beautiful evening to be out doing this video slash photo shoot with the CGT. Guys, thanks for watching another Stories channel. Always a blast having you guys along behind the scenes. And uh, remember, DD Car Care will be coming out uh, October 1st at ddcarcare.com. And we have a bunch of fun surprises coming up for you guys. So stay tuned and I will build a 720 motor. Don't worry about that. Peace. Oh, I don't want to stall that on a hill. That would suck. We're going to swap out the Career GT actually real quick and grab the R34 GTR. And there she is. There she is. So the boys and I found a pretty epic spot to uh, finish this photo shoot off with. Look at this. How do you think these photos are gonna turn out, guys? Thoughts? East Deck 2. Not a bad view. Not a bad view. Good morning. You guys, we just went and got coffee. Yeah, we did. Get our day going without coffee. We got Dino in the back. How you doing, buddy? Chilling like a villain. Oh, yes. Coffee, coffee, coffee. So we, uh, we have some landscapers at our house. And they're working at removing some plants that were never supposed to be inside. Uh, inside? Outside. Outside, on no, our property. They're just not the right species of plants. Wrong species. We need better species. And they're ugly, so we're going to remove them. If it's ugly, wifey says it has to go. <laughs> That's why I got to start working out. Ooh, this thing turns like a beast. Anyway. Like a beast. Sam, the owner. Yeah, what's her name? Sam? Awful start to her day. She had no coffee, so we went and saved the day. Actually, the truth is, I was in bed. And wifey got outside and was going to take Presley to school. And I was nice and cozy in bed. Fast asleep. Actually, yeah, wasn't asleep. And all of a sudden, she's like, get out of bed! The G Wagon's not here. You have to drive the Hummer. Because the G Wagon's getting a service at August. I forgot. I went to the garage and I was like, shut up. <laughs> so that's the start to our day. I'm supposed to maybe make a vlog for the main channel with that uh, new body G63. That's 4 by 4 it up. Done by Predator Inc. Who actually is who works on these Hummers down in San Diego. They're the ones that built the kit with the portal axles and all that stuff and the carbon fenders. So let's gonna go make a video with that. Have a bit of fun with that thing. Again, I'm really, I think it's a really cool build. I really like it. I'd be down to do it to Archie, but it'll never fit in the garage again. And wifey is scared to drive this thing. And I'll tell you, driving a four by four squared is even more challenging than honestly driving this. I like my G-Wagon just the way it is. I can't fuck with your G-Wagon? No. Come on. I mean, I would like what? the side steps blacked out. Oh, blacked out. Yeah, we'll do that. Hey, Dino. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> How's the puppet? He's not had breakfast yet. Oh, look at you. You don't look happy. <laughs> like, like grumpy dog. Oh, we got a bobcat. We got a bobcat. Bob! Move out of the way, Bob. Give him some space, you think, you think your things. You think you're cool on a bobcat, and then you realize, I got a Hummer. Hey, Bob. You didn't even want to look. What a gosh. Man, when they work on our yard, they get serious, hey? They put up like construction signs. That should be on the road when you're driving. <laughs> yeah.
be prepared to stop working on the Fryer family's home yard. <laughs> we have a beautiful day though today. Look at this. It's so Gorgeous day. You can tell it's fall. It's gotten quite chilly in the mornings. But look at this. Over the lake. Come on. Okay, I have a question. Is this for the Stories Channel? Yes. Okay. So I'm filming vertically. Local Kelowna. I need a metal wall handrail for my staircase. No one can help me. Anybody? She's asking the damn Stories Channel vlog. I am. And since when have I ever filmed for the main channel with a phone this way? Sometimes. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And maybe like five, six years ago. No, I've never filmed like this for this channel. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You can take that. It's just my dad. That's okay. Come on. No Sam. way. <laughs> thank you so You're much. You're welcome. We watched your story. Oh, and thank uh, you. It's not, it's not Tim Hortons. Are you we're, kidding we're me? We're Starbucks people. Oh but my God. Hopefully thank it works. you. You guys are the best. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, that sweater is beautiful on right? you. Right? I know. You guys know. Get this out one. of town. It's a really nice color. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Third time's a charm, hey? Well, it's the steering. There's, um, <laughs> if the truck's not moving, even though it's got power steering, it's really grippy on the on the ground. So, right. hello, we got it in there. The I didn't rip anybody's bumper off because if this thing, fence, yeah, I, I got. I think the rock saved me because I, I felt that I didn't want to really like it hit something. So it must have, must have hit that rock or something, which is probably good. I didn't take this out. What's he doing? <laughs> hey, you goofball. Landscaping. Come on, Dino. All right, guys. Next time you see me, I think we're going to be in a car. <laughs> I do love the Hummer, but oh, you know what it's you a need beast. To me what? Fire oh, table. my God. You guys know how much he loves Hummer. Fucking domestic chores. Yeah, the You're a handyman. This is not my full <laughs> I did. Well. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Hey, hey, hey. My wife just dragged the dog from drowning in the pool. Hey, you can't walk on the cover, dude. He's like weird. He went to step in onto winter. the cover right here and he fell in and he's a rock. So he's like head underwater within two seconds. <laughs> Fuck. Nice move. Look at him. Now he's all excited. Don't. Hey, it's not exciting. It's not funny. Look at him. He's like a kid. That's why we didn't have this on all summer. Because he knows the water's dangerous, but he thinks us that he can stand on this cover. You guys remember if you watch videos from the winter this when is, he would run. <laughs> this is because it's a different cover, right? Yes, it's a safety so cover. So we have a safety cover that like a thousand pounds can go on. It straps into these these holes all around the pool. But this is just obviously a floating like this pool cover, cover to keep it warm. But this water. one, this one will sink. Yeah. Hey, you goofball. Hey, stay out of there. Oh, it's, no, it's all muddy running around. Ah. He thinks it's funny. 
you little shithead. <laughs> Jesus, look at him. Yeah. Um, nice safe. You got right in there. Look at Mrs. DD. It's to the save. Yeah. I thought I was about to have to jump right in to pick him up, but you got him. <laughs> Grabbed him by the neck. I was like trying to grab him like a cat. You know, I you know. got him by the He's such a brick. He just He's sinks, like... hey? <laughs> he didn't even know how to swim. The worst part is he ended up right under the cover real quick. Oh, he just, yeah. Oh, shithead. Second time this week. All right. All we were doing were we were tying up the umbrellas, and that got real exciting real quick. I heard the splash. Hey, stop rubbing up again. Oh, now he's going to go do the dog thing. Look at him. Rubbing up against all the dirt. The water's really warm, though. It's 86 degrees. I'm go for a swim later. You get it? I can hear him. Bolt doesn't fit in his mouth very well. <laughs> hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. The wheel? <laughs> yes. I don't know what happened to me, Danny. You're good. I don't know what she's doing right now, but she's like reverse slaloming. We're women drivers, eh? <laughs> oh. My friend, this one is very nice. I buy it for you. It's calling catch can. A can that catch for this guy. We are almost ready. We take this line out, no more. We put a check valve, new one. And we are go over this way. We will make tank over here for extra uh, oil catch for the return from turbo. And we will return turbo straight inside oil pump so hopefully this solution our problem and you have very gucci very very gucci catch uh, can very nice breather on top with filter This is my version of a GoFundMe. This Friday at 8 a.m. at shopdd.com. Mark it on your phone. Set your alarms. The 720 exclusive limited edition merch line is gonna drop. So you guys are gonna want this. And all proceeds, I promise you, will go to making the 720 GTR bigger, better, faster, and stronger. So it'll slay more 11s. Go and mark it on your calendars right now or click right here and you'll be notified when the drop is live, but you're gonna have to be quick. Cause if this is anything like some of the other merch we've dropped, it'll be gone in a few hours. What up, what up guys? Got some music for you right here. Absolutely amazing. The uh, audio on this really doesn't even do it justice, but you get the idea. We'll give you a little more here on the way up the hill. Super pumped Friday, 720 GTR merge launches. I think that is only 6,000 RPM of the 8200, 8100. 8200 red line. Good sounding car. Thanks to Unobtainium making the Ink Canal exhaust. We have this beautiful uh, sunset. Can't really see it now. I got this bush beside me, but. Man, I gotta get uh, like a legit mic for the back of this car.
so we can capture all the cars in like perfect audio and then dub that over for some of the montages we do for the main channel. It's the only way to do it, you gotta do it right. So Friday, shopdd.com, limited edition, 720 GTR hat, officially helping pay for the upgrades we're gonna do to the 720 GTR. We're going for bigger power, stronger motor, all that sort of stuff, you guys. That'll be at 8 a.m. the 24th. That's like this Friday. So like in 36 hours or whatever we are away from that happening. Uh, go and pick up your stuff. This is the t-shirt, by the way. Absolutely amazing, amazing stuff. I'm on my way home. Wifey's got dinner for me. I was getting uh, some stuff done with the Career GT at August Garage. And then I'm gonna tuck it away in the garage. I ordered because I know this car is in its most valuable state is it's totally stock state. So I ordered because I can still get one right now from Porsche, they have it in stock, a Terracotta stock steering wheel, which I will just keep in the box. I absolutely love this Alcantara one, but a real collector collector, if I do ever sell this car, uh, isn't gonna want this steering wheel. And this car has steel brakes, so I also ordered the ceramics for this car. The price was astronomical, like very, very, very expensive, but I had to do it. I had to get them brand new from Porsche. So between the brakes and the steering wheel, it was like uh, over $60,000. I know, ridiculous, right? I'm looking into how I can have this car repainted and certified by Porsche. And if I do it at the right place, like through Porsche Classics, you when it's done, they actually give you a new quote unquote birth certificate for the car saying that like the car comes in this color or this paint coat even though it's been repainted they now certify it as that paint coat and I really like signal green I know not everyone loves it but trust me this car would look amazing signal green especially with the terracotta interior two earth tones and then gold wheels come on guys you know a bright signal green GT3 with the gold wheels looks insane so I think it would just only look even more insane on the Carrera GT all right, I'm gonna rip home, have some dinner, we'll talk in a sec. Actually, before I get home, I do wanna show you a little bit of this uh, sunset that we've got going on here because it's pretty beautiful with the lake in the background. I should have a spot right up here where you guys will be able to see this. Oh, the sun's already dipped behind the mountain there. But we did a photo shoot around this time of the day and the clouds are only gonna get crazier and crazier over the next 30 minutes. And we did this amazing photo shoot with the uh, Carrera GT first during the day, but then the R34 GTR. If you haven't seen those, check it out on our Instagram at Daily Driven Exotics. The photos turned out amazing. All right, see you in a sec. Yeah, check this out. The sky gets really, really epic. It's gonna start changing these clouds to be like kind of orangey at first, and then they go kind of pink. It's gonna look sick. I love driving this car. It's one of those cars that I think you just have to see one in person to really lay your eyes over like all the lines and how wide this car is really. And then, I mean, the sound's a sound, but this is a sexy car, even with the wing down. Some people prefer the wing down, some people prefer the wing up. I wanna know in the comments, what do you guys prefer? Do you like it like this, all stealthy? Makes it look really wide when the wing's down like this. Or do you like it with the wing up? Let me know. Look at look at how the sky's turning already, you guys. It's a photo right there. That is a photo right there, if I don't say so myself. Cool. I gotta open the gate, put this thing away. Time to tuck the crew GT away. Got the R34 over here. I know some of you mentioned that I finally got the Lamborghini sign hung up and it looks really good. It's massive. It took a long time. Right now, tradespeople are in really high demand. Like everything's gone crazy over the last year and a half, as you know, and people working in trades, at least here, are so busy because people are trying to build houses, people are selling houses, house prices have gone through the roof. Anyhow, I'm super grateful I got into the market when I did. Um, R34, plans for the R34, well, I'll tell you this. 
at the moment, it's going to stay stock. I'm thinking, I'm playing with the idea of keeping this motor, taking it out so it's good, and buying a second motor that's fully built from one of those crazy companies over in Australia. I can't remember the name of it. Anyhow, that fully build R34s and make them like 1,000 horsepower cars. I think I can buy a motor that's been in another car that they tune and everything, and then they just ship it here with everything it needs, and it's plug, plug and play. So it's an idea. I don't know. It's not high on the priority list, but if I get bored, that might happen. Then we can make some crazier videos with it because you know these cars with 1,000 horsepower are pretty freaking quick. All-wheel drive. I mean, it could be like a bolt-on turbo kit on a Lambo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have to quickly film a promo. Uh, it's basically what I just talked about, the uh, merch line that's coming out Friday morning. And then I'm going in to have dinner. So my day has been pretty relaxing. I have an upcoming trip in a few days back down to California. Wheel reveal for the SVJ. Super stoked about that. I'm playing with the idea of doing a wrap on that car as well. Dave and I were saying, you know, right now all the cars are like, you know, solid tone colors. We don't really have a car that's got any of the crazy kind of camo, crazy boy rap shit. And Dave and I like that. I think, you know, those were the, that was also the roots of Daily Driven Exotics having a crazy rap. So what do you guys think? I could wrap this in the meantime. We'd do something crazy on the Carrera GT. I will eventually ship this car stateside down to the US because that's really where you guys are going to get the appreciation for um, this car and how it sounds because, you know, we'll be able to like full send it down there. All right, I'm gonna shoot this commercial, and then I'm gonna go and have dinner. I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey, birthday boy. Happy birthday, Dino. You're officially one year old, buddy. And he likes his new birthday present. Get it, Dino, get it. Good morning. So I need to <clears throat> be prepared for an upcoming trip. Coffee. And I got um, this carbon fiber kit. Ooh. I got this carbon fiber case. Where's the creamer? In the fridge. And we got covered in a DD sticker. And then we used like car PPF to actually protect it. Cause I put a sticker on it, a bunch of stickers on it already once and then sliding it one time into the overhead bin of the aircraft completely destroyed all the stickers. So I was like, we need a better plan. And uh, Anthony actually was the one that went and got the uh, luggage covered for me. Don't mind me, I'm like putting all this back together. I need coffee. I'll show you. So good. Why did I just knock an earring off? Oh, by the way, it's Dino's birthday today. Dino is now officially one. We got him a birthday package right here that he got to open. And it had a cake and a birthday balloon in it. Happy birthday, buddy, one year old. He loves the cake, loves the cake. Don't you, don't you, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Luggage, I'll show you. Check this out. So I've got this, and it's got DD on it, coarse carbon fiber. And then to protect this sticker, it's actually PPF, the whole front of this, even the corners, except for this one little piece right here, because that was the tough part, but it's all protected, the face and the back. Pretty cool. What do you guys think if we got some of these and did a special like livery on a carbon fiber uh, carry-on case and then sold a case with a limited edition uh, bunch of merch in it? But I don't tell you what the merch is, we choose. And then you can buy this with merch in it that'll never be duplicated or sold to anybody else. Kind of an idea. We always have to come up with new ideas, so it's getting tougher and tougher and tougher. 
but that's pretty freaking that's pretty freaking sick oh my gosh wifey's gone mad and she now even has like the birthday hat on dino Finish this coffee and then start packing. 